Welcome, I'm Brian Hayes, and this is Automation of the Week. Every Tuesday, we release a new video that shows you step-by-step -step how to build out an automation in Salesforce or Pardot. This week, I'm gonna show you how to use Flow to calculate a sales commission. So it's a pretty common request to calculate sales commissions in Salesforce, but there isn't a good way to do it right out of the box. You might be tempted to use a formula field to just take that total amount of the opportunity and multiply it by 5% or 10% or whatever the commission is and have that output the commission amount for the salesperson. It's quick and easy, but the problem is if you ever change that structure as an update that formula field, it's gonna update that amount for all of your historical opportunities as well and you'll lose some of that old data. So instead of using a formula field, I recommend you use a flow to do the calculation and then update a regular field on the opportunity record to save for historical purposes, whatever that commission was at that time. So the first thing you need to do is create a currency field called commission that we can then put the commission amount into. I'm not gonna go through those steps of creating that field in this video, but we have other ones that show you how to do that. One thing to pay special attention to is access to that field. So when you create it, you can give read or write access to different profiles in your system. And with something like a commission, you likely want to really tightly control, you know, access and edit capabilities to that field so that a salesperson couldn't just go in there and update that field to be whatever they wanted. You might even just want to hide it from everybody except system administrators if you want to keep commissions a little more private within your company. Once you've created that commission field, go ahead and click on the gear in the upper right hand corner and bring up the flows screen by searching for flows in the quick find and then click new flow. So now we have a decision to make. We can either use a screen flow, a record triggered flow or a schedule triggered flow to do the calculation for us. The simplest thing is just to use a record triggered flow. So when an opportunity is marked as closed one, it would then calculate the commission for us and update that opportunity. The issue with this though, is if a salesperson doesn't have access to that commission field and they're the ones that update the opportunity to be closed one, we're not gonna be able to update that field with the flow because a record triggered flow only has access to the fields that the running user has access to. So if you wanna hide it from the salesperson, you can't have a record triggered flow that they started updated. So that means we could use a screen flow or a schedule triggered flow. The reason why we can get around this is because with screen flows, we can run them in a system-wide context, which lets us access any of the data within your system instead of being limited by the profile of the person who's using that screen flow. And a scheduled triggered flow doesn't really have a running user. And so a scheduled triggered flow, because it's triggered by a schedule, not by a person, it defaults to your default automation user, which most of the time is a system administrator. And you can change that setting under the process automation settings screen. And so if that default automation user is a system administrator, we're not gonna run into any issues when it comes to accessing those fields. So for our purpose here, now we're gonna use a screen flow. The reason for that is we can build on top of it. So essentially we'll have a salesperson close win an opportunity, you know, update that opportunity, and then we'll have a button that says submit. And when they hit submit, that is then gonna do the calculation for us and calculate our commission. And then we could do other things with that. You know, Perhaps we're now wanting to email the sales manager or you wanna email finance to start looking and processing this order or email operations or whoever's gonna be sending out the product. There's lots of useful things we can do when they decide to submit that opportunity to other processes within the company. So that's what we're gonna use. You could use record triggered flow though, if you have a lot of trust within your company and all that data is open and editable, or if everyone's a system administrator anyways in the system, that's another option to use. So select screen flow, then hit create. First thing we're gonna do on the left-hand side is make a new resource. This is a, a variable that we'll call record ID. This is for us to capture the ID of that opportunity record that they're gonna be on when they click the button so that we can then get that opportunity and do the calculation we need to. Make sure that the data type is text and that this is made available for input. Then hit done. The next thing we'll do is actually get all of the fields for that opportunity that we're on when somebody hits the button. So we'll call this get opportunity. Our object will be an opportunity object. 
and we want the opportunity whose ID is equal to our record ID variable. So go ahead and choose to only get the first record and then where it says how to store the record data, you could automatically store all the fields in case you needed them, but we don't really need that many fields. So instead, click choose fields and let Salesforce do the rest. And what we care about is the amount field, we care about the commission field, and we also want to know who the opportunity owner is. So choose owner ID, then click done. That'll make the flow a little bit more efficient since we don't need to access and store as much data. Now, the next thing we want to do is check to see if there's already an amount in that commission field, because we don't want somebody to continually hit that button and recalculate the commission if we don't need them to. So what we can do is check to see if there's already a value in that commission field, and then we can show a screen that says you've already submitted this opportunity, and then we can just end the automation gracefully instead of going through all of the steps again when we don't need to. Certainly don't want to send out more than one email to finance or another department in the company. Let's add a step here and we'll add a decision element. And I'm going to ask, is the commission field blank? So for our new outcome here, we'll give this a label and just call this no. And then for our default outcome, we can change that from default outcome to yes. And under the no, we can choose to get that commission field from that opportunity. So click get opportunity. And then you can search for or scroll down to commission. And I'm going to select is null and then put in false. So here, we're, what we're saying is that that commission field is not blank. So if it's not blank, then we'll say no, the commission field is not blank. If the commission field is blank, then we'll execute the default path and say, yes, it's blank. So if it's no here, we can go ahead and just choose to end our flow. And then if it is blank, we'll go to the right and we'll do an update and calculate that commission. So under no, I'm going to add a screen. And then for the flow label, we can say opportunity was already submitted. And in the middle, we'll add some display text here so we can show the user that this has been submitted. Give this a nice API name. I'm just going to call this user message. And we'll say this opportunity has already been submitted. Thank you. And you could add additional text here if you'd like. On the footer, I'm going to remove the pause button. I'm also going to hide the previous button because there's really nothing to go back to. And then they can just click finish and, and complete that flow if they had already submitted it. So there's our message. And on the right hand side, now what we can do is update that opportunity that we already got. So choose update records. We'll call this update opportunity commission. And we can specify our conditions here. So we want again, an opportunity object. We want the opportunity whose ID is equal to record ID, our variable. And then here we can update any other fields that we might need to. So for one thing, if somebody clicks submit on it, it should already be closed one, but we'll update the stage to closed one just in case it isn't. And we can update commission. So I'm gonna find commission in our list here. And well, we can set our value here. So this is where we can create a new resource, and this is where we can create our formula for our commission. So under resource type, when you click new resource, choose formula. I'm gonna call this commission calculation. Our output should be a currency. And now we've got this area at the bottom here to build out that formula. So just like a formula field, we can click on insert a resource, go to that opportunity from our get step, select the amount. And let's say our commission rate is 10%. Oh, we can multiply that by 0.1. Now, when you are using decimals, though, make sure that you start the decimal with a zero. So it should be 0 0.1. Otherwise, it'll give you an error. And that's going to give us 10% of the amount value. Check syntax on that. Looks valid. And then hit done. Now, we can make this formula a lot more complicated if you wanted to. And we'll get into that in just a second. But this is also something that you can update over time. Because it's not a formula field, when you update this flow for next year or the year after that to change that commission amount, it's only gonna apply moving forward as people hit that submit button and then click done. And that will update our opportunity. I'm gonna hit save here and then we can debug this and then I'll show you how to make it a little more interesting. Go ahead and name your flow and hit save and then click activate. Last thing we need to do to test this out is to create a button that's gonna trigger that flow. So go to the object manager in the setup menu and pull up an opportunity. 
And then under button links and actions, you can create a new action. Our action type will be a flow. And our flow is the opportunity dash calculate commission. If you don't see your flow show up here, it's because you probably didn't activate it or because it's not a screen flow. And the label will call submit opportunity. Okay, hit save. And then on the page layout, you can go to mobile and lightning actions and you can find that button you just created. It's right here, submit opportunity. So click that and drag that down onto your page layout and hit quick save or save. So here we are back in the Salesforce user area. You can see we've got our new action in the upper right-hand corner. It is in the negotiation stage. The amount is $110,000 and our commission field is blank. When I click submit opportunity, that should run through the screen flow and calculate our commission for us. Now you can't immediately tell, but if you hit refresh, you can see that the opportunity is now closed one because we updated that stage. And under details, we've got $11,000 for that calculated commission. Let's go back to the screen flow. One thing I wanna point out is under the settings area. When you click here, click on show advanced and you can see that there's this option that asks, how do you wanna run the flow? You can either run it in the user or system context, the system context with sharing or system context without sharing. So in this case, we wanna run this in the system context without sharing in order to access all data because it's very possible that the person who clicks the button is going to be a salesperson that doesn't have access to that commission field. We've controlled it on field level security. You know, they can't see it or they can't edit it. So make sure you choose system context without sharing, access all data, because this is gonna ensure that that flow can run and update that field that that particular user might not have access to. Let me hit done there and I'll click save as on this one again. So now I've shown you how to create a flow that will do a calculation and update a field on an opportunity, you know, instead of using a formula field. The next thing we can do is we could actually look at a field on the owner's record, the owner of the opportunity, to see what their commission is, what their rate is. So maybe you don't want to have 10% across the board for all of your salespeople. Maybe certain salespeople are at 8%, certain at 5%, 10%, etc. And so you need a way to uh, change that dynamically within your flow. Well, an easy way to do that would be to create a field on the user record for that commission percentage and just write it in there. And then we can reference it from the flow. Step one is let's pull up the user object and add that field. So go to the user object, fields and relationships and click new. And this is gonna be a percentage. So choose percent for the data type and click next and we'll call this commission rate. You can add decimal places here if you'd like, but I'm gonna leave it off for now. And then you can provide who has access to this field. I'm gonna hide it from everybody except the system administrator. And then I'll hide it from the community member layout as well, because it doesn't really matter if we're talking about a community member, it's just for internal users. Now that we have that field, let's pull up a user. We'll take David Rose here, and let's update their commission percentage. You can see our commission rate field right here on the user record. Go ahead and hit edit, and then we can put whatever we'd like in there. So let's say the commission rate for this person is 12. Hit save, and you can see that that is 12%. Now, if we come back to the flow, go ahead and hit refresh. That way it's got access to these new fields. And on the left-hand side, bring up that commission calculation formula. So here we just put in 10% as our commission rate, but instead click insert resource, Click on opportunity, then go to owner and search for our commission rate field here. So that's going to insert our percentage dynamically and then hit done. Hit save and activate and we can test this. Let's come back to that same opportunity we were looking at. Now, if I hit submit opportunity now, we should actually get a screen that tells us that the commission has already been calculated. Let's just see if that's working. Okay, it is. So it could see that the commission was already there opportunity has already been submitted, you know, thank you. Hit finish. So in order for us to get past that decision point, I'm going to clear that out, make that blank, and then hit save. Go ahead and submit opportunity again. There we go. Flow is finished. And if we look at this here, you can see that the commission is actually 1,320,000. So that's probably not quite right. So our formula didn't multiply it by 0.12, it multiplied it by 12, which is not what we want. So you come back here into our flow, let's go back to the formula, 
And what we need to do if this is a percentage is we just need to divide it by 100. Now, just like in algebra, we need to follow the standard order of operations. So I'm going to wrap that part in parentheses to make sure that that division happens first. Click done, save that. I'm going to clear out the commission here. And let's go back to the flow. And this time, I'll, let's hit debug. So we can actually see what's happening at each step. Under the debug, we just need to pass a record ID into this flow. So I'll take that from our URL, paste it into record ID, and click run. So there we go. We can see the different steps, right? Our decision came up, and we went on to the step that updates the records. And here, you can see that our commission calculation outputted $13,200. That sounds a lot closer than, you know, $13 million or so. That looks good. Go and hit activate, and then we can test it again in the UI. I'll hit save here and hit submit opportunity. There we go. Hit refresh, and you can see that we've got our, you know, 12% times $110,000 is $13,200. There's our commission. At this point, I think we're in pretty good shape if you've got a very simple commission structure that maybe is a little bit different from user to user. If you want to make this even more complicated, you can go to the next step and you can actually update a total sales this year field on the user record. You could create that, have the same flow update the user after the opportunity is updated if you have commissions that are tiered that might change as they hit you know, different goals for that particular salesperson. And then, of course, you can also expand on the formula. If there's other things you want to consider, you can use that in the formula. If there are certain types of products that should get higher commissions than others, you can really get advanced with it. And there you have it. We now have a flow that's going to update a commission field on an opportunity. And we can even vary what that commission percentage is based on the owner of the opportunity. Hope you found this video helpful. If you're looking for more training when it comes to Salesforce and Pardot, take a look at our courses at academy.rotive.io and hit like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.